يا رب ارحم شعب الموصل يتألم يا رب ارحم شعب الموصل يتألم I was the seventh sibling to come into this world and my childhood started off pretty rough one of the days that we decided to escape my mom and dad thought it wasn't fair anymore to live in a country conflicted by war between Iran and Iraq and all the other invasions that occurred. They decided to pack up in a minivan. They brought all the clothing that they can possibly get. Um, they also brought in dresses and we baked a cake. And when we got to the border, we explained to the patrol that it was based on a wedding that we were going to. This was going to be our uncle's wedding. We would go for the weekend and we would plan to come back. The border patrol bought into that. And at that moment, caught in that minivan, there's children and a mom and dad who were fearful for the truth to come out. We weren't going to a wedding. We were going to start a new adventure to seek out life and liberty. So at that point, we were stuck at the borderline. And our story convinced that we were just going for a wedding and coming back. Um, if they were to find out, we, I would probably not be sitting here today speaking to you. Jordan was beautiful. Um, the people there treated us with the utmost respect. There was one family in particular. They were Muslim and they treated their Christian brother and sister with the with the respect that you know we deserved. Um, they gave us a room to stay in. Even though it was a small room, we were all together as a family. They gave us all the extra clothes that we can get. I remember specifically celebrating my dad's birthday. At that moment, as a child, there's so much confusion, but at that point, something felt really nice. It felt, it felt like we were somewhat safe again. But in my dad's eyes, you could always see anxiety. We were together in Malta for about three and a half years. We stayed in a beautiful home. Uh, my siblings worked, my father worked while my mom took care of us. So we did stick together always. We wouldn't let each other, you know, be separated. We even became close with the other Chaldean refugees who ended up in Malta with us. Even coming into the United States, we were, you know, taken into good schools and we were taught everything that we needed to know so that way we wouldn't, we wouldn't be too unfamiliar with it. My entire life I felt unwanted, um, unrecognized, and I never felt like I had a place to call my home. Um, and it's hard. Most of the time, people are confused, I think, with refugees. I believe that some people think refugees are trying to take away the freedom of, and liberty of other countries, but it's not about that. It's about the fact that they need a safe haven. Most of these refugees would love to go back to their country. You know, they, they, they didn't have that choice. Fear has come in the way of people. Fear has taken over the ability to see another human being who is struggling. You might meet someone who once was a refugee and you might become their family, their friend, their neighbor. Um, and don't, don't let that opportunity miss out because you might meet some incredible people that might change your lives. <laughs>